I just think this guy's a bum. Who is this? Tillis. He has talent. Yeah, and doesn't use it. Bob, between Tim Witherspoon, a guy who you have heard about and will hear more, and James Quick Tillis, a guy who simply said needs it. Right now, let's get up to the ring announcer, Dan Coughlin, for the introduction of these two fighters. Dan Coughlin will be introducing the fighters here, Tillis and Witherspoon. Witherspoon coming off, of course, a championship fight with Larry Holmes. James Quick Tillis has also been in a championship fight. And right now, let's get to the introduction of the two fighters and Dan Coughlin. So right now, for the introduction to the two fighters in this heavyweight fight, let's go up to Dan Coughlin, the ring announcer. Dan? Ladies and gentlemen, the next bout is 12 rounds for the North American Boxing Federation Championship. From Chicago, the number eight WBA contender Rated number nine by the WBC with a record of 24 wins and three losses, 18 knockout victories, weighing 208 pounds, James Quick Tillis. In the, in the red corner from Philadelphia, the number two WBC contender Num rated number four by the WBA with a record of 16 wins and one loss, 11 knockouts, weighing 222 and one half pounds, terrible Tim Witherspoon. <laughs> the referee is Pete Rademacher. The judges are John Cerrone from Akron, Tim Figley from East Palestine, and Dwayne Ford from Las Vegas. Gentlemen, you've got 12 rounds to fight. There's a title fight, and I want you to fight hard and fair. Keep your punch up off the kidney, off the back of the neck. Don't bull each other around. If somebody's knocked down, I'll send the standing fighter to the furthest neutral corner. I'm going to use three commands to separate you when you're tied up. I'll say stop, I want you to stop pushing, wrestling, boxing. I'll say break, step back a full step, and I'll say box, commence fighting. Shake hands now, come out fighting at the bell. James Quick Tillis on the right, Tim Witherspoon on the left. Witherspoon, of course, coming off a very effective fight, split decision loss and a controversial one at that. To Larry Holmes, he has had one fight since then, that a 10 round win over Jumbo Cummings. However, Ray, there's one thing to note, and that is there's been a lot of talk as to how little Witherspoon trained coming into this fight. Some people said as little as five days. Well, maybe that's the reason he's going at uh, Quick Tillis so fast. And uh, both men are qualified, without question. Both were durable. Quick Tillis was knocked down by Ernie Shaver. And I thought, it was, I thought it was history, but he got up and he, he went on to win a decision. That was a slip. Tillis yeah. is a guy about whom there was a lot of things said as to being a potentially terrific heavyweight, and he's never really realized the potential. James Quick Tillis has so much natural ability. He just has to take advantage of it. He, he's, he's, and once in a while he gets lazy, and he lays, he's laid back. He had a fight with Mike Weaver, 
had an opportunity to win the title and wasn't that aggressive. Angelo Dundee, of course, in the corner of James Quick Tillis. And here's a good right hand by Witherspoon. And Tillis takes a backward step, but a big one at that. Comes back with a left hand of his own. That right hand was short. That one was not. That Tillis' legs buckle, and that might be it. It was two solid right hands. That's it. That's it, Barrett. And Tillis is up, but very, very wobbly. Let's see if Pete Radebecker lets this one go on. What he should do is he should grab and clinch, hold with his spoon, clear his head. He is still very hurt, very wobbly. With a spoon right on him. Combination again. And Tillis is down once more. This time bounces back to his feet. Still plenty of time left in this first round. And Tillis is going to have to do a dance just to survive it. Watch put the right hand up of Tim Witherspoon. Witherspoon right back on his man. Tillis trying to hold on, takes a tremendous shot, and that's it. It is all over in just that quick five days or no five days. Tim Witherspoon was clearly and positively dominant in this fight. Well, now we know why he's called Quick Tillis. <laughs> Witherspoon, obviously a man with something to prove and wanted to prove it early. In the other corner, Tillis looks on, saying why they stop it, and I don't think there was any question amongst this crowd as to why they did. Witherspoon was just too strong for him, Barry. The reason that Quick Tillis fights the way he does, moving and sticking, is because he really isn't a very strong fighter with a strong punch, and he has to fight that way. Witherspoon knew it, went after him was not afraid at all of, of Tillis, and as you can see, he staggered him with that right hand, and then that second right hand picked up Tillis' left leg right off the ground. And what I like about that is the fact that the first right hand put Quick Tillis in trouble, and Tillis here just crumbles to the, to the canvas. You know, going into this fight, Angelo Dundee, who trains Tillis, called Witherspoon a union fighter. He says he'll only throw 20 punches in a round, and that's it. <laughs> union fighter? Well, he's got a bonus of 10 coming but next I time. I think maybe that was the Witherspoon before Larry Holmes. He's obviously full of confidence about himself. I think he's a legitimate hopeful to become the heavyweight champion someday. With those right hands and left jab, even the left jab was very effective by Tim Witherspoon. So you look at the very happy winner with good reason, and you really have to think that fight with Larry Holmes, even though it was a split decision loss, really did wonders for the confidence of Tim Witherspoon. Right now, let's go to the ring announcer, Don Cochran, for the official decision. The new North American heavyweight champion in two minutes and 16 seconds, terrible Tim Witherspoon. The career of the trundling along Tim Witherspoon in action tonight against James Finesse Smith. Not to be confused.